the Arizona Attorney General is suing Arizona State University for what the office says is a violation of the state's constitution. At issue, a deal to bring an Omni Hotel and Conference Center to ASU's Tempe campus. Cronkite News reporter Bryce Newberry joins us live with a look at the battle. The university says this is a hotel and conference center that's desperately needed. But the attorney general's office says the university is passing along its tax breaks to private corporations. At the corner of Mill Avenue and University Drive, plans to build an Omni Hotel and Conference Center are on hold as a battle plays out in Arizona's Superior Court. ASU is supposed to be an educational institution, not a real estate development company, and that's where the focus should be. It should be on educating students as nearly free as possible. The Arizona Attorney General suing the university and Arizona Board of Regents for giving a hotel corporation millions of dollars in discounted property valuations and amenities, which are meant for public universities to keep their own costs down. The public needs to know the truth about this deal, which is a bad deal for the people of Arizona. The university responding, as in the past, neither the law nor the facts are on the side of the Office of the Attorney General. An approximately $25 million investment in the construction of a conference center and a parking garage is not a gift. That investment will yield revenue of approximately $140 million for the university. Paul Eckstein is the attorney representing ASU. How can you ignore the $140 million that's coming in over 60 years? That's what the attorney general is attempting to do. And uh, that's, uh, as President Bush once said, uh, voodoo economics. The Attorney General's office claims ASU failed to have a public hearing and sold the land for $85 per square foot, compared to nearby land that recently sold for $212 per square foot. But the university says they didn't have to have a public hearing because the land is actually being leased for 60 years to Omni, not sold. Eckstein says new revenue sources are needed to educate students. With uh legislatures all over the country, but particularly here in Arizona, cutting back, cutting to the bone, the amount of money that is appropriated, uh, it is perfectly understandable and wise uh, for universities to do what ASU is doing. But the AG's office says ASU must be stopped from moving forward. Finally, we have a fundamental problem with ASU renting out its tax exempt status to favored developers. One issue the Attorney General's office has raised is that the lease agreement allows the Omni Hotel to buy the land for only $10. Today, ASU's attorney told me that's after the 60-year lease, or after at least three years of the lease, and only if a judge were to decide the property is subject to taxes, which have to exceed the annual payment the Omni would be making to ASU. The Board of Regents has filed four motions to dismiss the case, and more filings are expected next week. Live in the studio, Bryce Newberry, Cronkite News.